In a matter of days, the governments of Hungary and the Czech Republic have fallen, raising questions on the future of liberal economic reform and the influence of the United States, the European Union, and Russia in the region. The Czech government collapsed after losing a no-confidence vote in Parliament last week. The vote came after the center-right government of Prime Minister Mirik Topolánek was criticized for the way it handled the economic crisis and for supporting a controversial U.S. missile system. It is the first time the country's government has been ousted since it came into existence after the breakup of former Czechoslovakia in 1993. The vote came midway through the rotation of the Czech Republic's European Union presidency, a role which Topolánek has also been fulfilling. This past week, in an address to the European Parliament, Topolánek abandoned diplomatic niceties and blasted the United States government for approving the $787 billion economic stimulus package. He called the overall U.S. strategy for ending the recession a, quote, road to hell that would flood global markets with too many dollars and lead to bigger problems. Just three days before the Czech government collapsed, Hungary's prime minister resigned after admitting he had become an obstacle to the economic recovery of one of the countries most affected by the economic crisis.